Hello, this is Karen for Pick Advanced Studios. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create large backgrounds by lining up 4x4 stamps from Pick Advanced Studios. Here's a closer look of some of the 4x4 stamps that Pick Advanced Studios has released in the past, and you can use them to make beautiful backgrounds. I'll be using these new stamps round and round we go and say cheese from the April release. We're going to take a look at this. Can you see these images on top that look like they are missing some parts? Well, that happens because these parts belong to the images at the bottom of the stamp. For example, the head of this bunny is down here. Can you see it? Now, let's go from left to right in case you want to step horizontally. Look at this bird. You will find the other half of its body on the right side. One small part from this mouse ear is also at the right side of the stamp. Here we have the bird and its body is not completed because a missing part is on the left side, as you can see. Now let's take a look at the round and round we go stamp. Do you see this part? Well, this bottom part matches perfectly with the top. And here the top is right at the bottom of the image. So basically, you can line up all four sides of this stamp and they will match. That way you can create larger backgrounds. I'm going to show you more examples. Here I have the view of the C stamp and a missing part from the star C is here. The bottom part from this image is right at the top. Also, this shell has its top part at the bottom of the stamp. This is the collage of Bert's stamp and all four sides line up correctly. Here is the winter cloth collage stamp and see how part of this scarf is at the right side. Also, here you have the other part of the sweater. Here we are seeing at the Brewery Cap stamp. This is on a seahorse's dreams stamp. Okay, after seeing many examples, let's start with the Say Cheese stamp. I will be using the Misty stamping tool for this. I have a large panel here and I'm going to stamp in a vertical direction all the way down to this large panel. I'm going to ink up my stamp with the black hybrid ink from Picket Fence Studios and then I stamp this image on top of the panel pressing firmly for a good impression. Then I clean up my stamp using the stamp scrubber from Picket Fence Studios and wipe off the excess with a dry cloth. I'm going to zoom in a little bit this part. You need to take your time to line up correctly this top part of the stamp with the bottom image on your cardstock. Once it's lined up, I grab the stamp with the misty door. Next, I will apply my black hybrid ink by Picket Fence Studios on top of my stamp. And here we go. As you can see, now I have created a large background by just lining up this 4x4 stamp. Let's clean up the stamp again with the stamp scrubber. And here I'm going to line up the image and stamp the last part of this panel and my first background is ready. And this is another example and I'm going to show you how to stamp this large panel by starting from the middle. This is a 3 by 6 inches tall panel that I will be stamping from top to bottom just to show you that you can start stamping anywhere in your panel. I think this image is not dark enough. So thanks to my Misty, I can stamp this image again. And now it looks better. Okay, my next step is to move my card up a little bit and line it up with this frame as a reference. Also, I will zoom in and center the Misty. Then I remove this stamp from the Misty door and here you can see how easy it is to line up this stamp. I can grab this stamp with the Misty door now and let's have a bigger picture here. I ink up the stamp at the bottom part, close the door and press firmly into the cardstock. And I think it already looks super cool. Now I re-stamp this image again. 
and to finish this I'm going to bring my car a little bit down. I will remove this thumb from the misty door and light up the image. I close the misty to grab this thumb and ink it up. Then I press firmly into the cardstock and my second example is ready now. It was really fun and easy to create these two backgrounds. I took one panel and made this simple card. I added some elements for the black and white concept and just a bit of color to pop up these images. For the black bubbles, I used the word bubbles dies from Picket Fence Studios. Then I white hid embossed the sentiments from the small ways to say thank you stamp set. I also made a matching envelope using the life-changing blender brushes and the new knot scales stencil. Now let's jump onto our next example. For this card I will be stamping horizontally on an A2 panel. So here I grab my stamp with the misty door and ink up the image and stamp this bunch of animals. I will place my stamp to the right side of the panel and light up the image on a horizontal direction. I apply ink to the stamp and now you can see how easy it is to line up these images horizontally or vertically. Let's continue with the bottom part. I line up the image, close the misty door, grab the stamp, apply ink and stamp the image. I repeat all these steps to finish the last part on the cardstock and this panel is finished. With this technique your misty will get very dirty, so you need to clean constantly. With this A2 panel I created this card, also with a black and white concept. I die cut this black bubble using the word bubbles dies. I used the every good and perfect gift as Tom said to white heat embossed my sentiment. For the envelope, I used the polka dots stencil with the life changing blender brushes. Now let's move to my final example using a different stamp. This is the round and round we go stamp and I will be stamping vertically on this panel. This time I have a watercolor cardstock because I will be using some sick clean color real brushes to paint. I love the patterns on this stamp. If you use different colors of inks, you will create a wonderful background. You could also use embossing powders as well. But the most important thing is to follow the steps. Line up the stamp ink up the image and stamp onto your cardstock. And finally our last panel is ready. This is the card that I created. For my sentiment I used the never fake a sarcasm stamp set. Here's the round and round we go stamp. I also die cut and heat embossed the flabbergasted word die. On my envelope I used the watercolor brush strokes stencil. And those stars on the background are from the stars stencil. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.